Son of God was laid. intercession. I know there's so many coming around talking about the termination of America, the termination of cities, the termination of life as we know it. But God's got a different plan. You know, first Peter, the third chapter, the 15th verse says that we're supposed to be prepared to give a defense for the hope. So if the church doesn't have hope, what are we defending? Hallelujah. And Romans says that the kingdom of God is not what we eat or drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. God wants these prayers today to be heard because the Bible says that God's ears are open to the prayers of the righteous. But his, love, his eyes are against those. His face is against those who do evil. Wow. I tell you, I'm excited because there are going to be prayers that are going to be released here. And, and when I say prayers, I'm not talking about said, you know, what we say in words. We are the prayer. We are the vehicle. We are the spirit of prayer. Do you understand? So Father, today we repent of not being kingdom minded in the name of Jesus. We welcome the Holy Spirit to begin to awaken our minds, to awaken our consciousness. And as we walk through these streets, as we go to the places you will have us to go, that we will just not accept things in the natural, but we will receive the download from heaven. And as we begin to intercede, and as we begin to call, shout, declare the name of the Lord, declare the word of the Lord, invoke the power of the blood of Jesus. We ask God that we will see things that we've never seen before in this city. For this is a city to be taken and the taskmasters' powers shall be broken. In the name of Jesus and the kingdom of God will come with power to our city, God. We cry out for that today, God. We say amen to do what you want to do. So as we go out this week, oh God, to proclaim your word, to proclaim the complete work of the cross, Lord, I pray for the anointing, oh God, that you've bestowed upon all of us, oh God. And tonight, Lord, as we step out, oh God, we step out in the authority and the unction, oh God, to proclaim boldly the completed work of Jesus Christ, Lord. And I thank you that we can bring out this cross to this city tonight, Lord, and this whole week, Lord. And I declare of all the pride and all the indifference towards you, Lord. I ask you for forgiveness, Lord, if you think we can do it without you. Lord, New York City belongs to you. We claim it back, Lord. It belongs to you. You said the earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof. So we call it New York City back. And we say, New York City, rise up in the name of Jesus without the blood of the Lamb. We're coming out. We're coming out. We're coming out to take the city tonight. We're coming out to take the city this week. Father, we ask you to release your angel. We ask you to release your fire. We ask you to release your anointing. We ask you to release your grace. We're coming out and we're going to take back what belongs to us in the name of Jesus. We rebuke any cause of darkness in the name of Jesus. We say, fight and leave. We say, fear leave. We're coming out. We're coming out to take back what belongs to us. That the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given to them, that they may be one, just as we are one. Father, we cry out to you tonight, God. 
that you would knit our hearts, Lord God, that you would make us one, Lord God, make us one, Heavenly Father, make the body of Christ one, O oh God, yes, Lord. let us yield to your spirit, O oh God, that everything that is pride, everything that is in the way of the unity, God, we ask to be pushed out of the way, and that you would come and make us one, Lord Jesus. I pray that every single soul that we encounter, Lord, we take Proverbs 21.1, that the heart of the king is in your hands, and you will turn them any which way. I don't care what strongholds they are dealing with. They are going to know that you are Lord. You are the Lord of their lives, Lord. I pray you turn their hearts. You change their hearts, God, and you bring them into fellowship with you again, God. I pray that we go out and we hear the voices, and we're given the right words, Lord, to say, Lord, less of us and more of you. Fill us, Lord, with your power. Help us see what you see. Help us hear what you hear, Lord. Help us speak what you want us to speak, God. We claim this city. We claim these people that this is going to be a night that's going to set the fires of revival over the entire nation. It starts here. It starts now. It starts now. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is Lord. We ask Jesus' name, it is done. Souls are saved. This city is yours. So, so I'm just going to pray for all the laborers that God will reunite the fire. Lord, in the name of Jesus. I just for everyone that said yes to you today, Lord God. Oh, we know that you are dwelling within us, Father. Fan the flames once again, my Lord. In the name of Jesus, push back the forces of darkness, my God, as your people go on the street. Ten years later, we built a church from the streets. And I want you to know that as a pastor, a local pastor here, my name is Rick Del Rio from Abounding Grace Ministries. I want you to know that we welcome you. And folks, I want to see the hands of all of you that are here that don't belong to New York City. You're here visiting. This is what I would like to do. I'd like all of you to come up here, and then I'm going to ask all the pastors here from New York City to come around, and we want to pray for you. We want to cover you. We want you to know that we appreciate you. Come on, I want all of you that are here from outside. I want you to know that there are people that have been praying for you. But as a New Yorker, I want to thank you for the prayers and the sacrifice that you have made for New York. We stand in agreement and we know that God's going to do a great work, not only in the city, but in you. As you go back, you'll be able to take life and power and anointing like you've never experienced before. We believe that God has ordained this time for both you and this city. We have been laying claim to our city. We are standing in our city. Our city is divided. There's tremendous uh, infighting in our culture. But we know that the light of the gospel, the fire of the Holy Ghost, will make a difference. And you have come to make a difference in this city. All right, guys. We're going to pray. I want all our pastors here to stretch out your hands over these folks. All our people from our churches here, stretch out your hands. How beautiful are the feet of those who come yes. and bring good news. 
And I declare your feet are beautiful. I declare that God will use you in a great way. Jesus told us to go and let me tell you something. He said, I want you to go and you're going to go as lambs among wolves. And you know what that is? That's dinner for the wolf. But for us, it's victory. Yeah. We're going as lambs among wolves. We know that there is an opposition. But we also know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You know that the word of God says, if God be for you, who can be against you? I want you to know wherever you go in this city, you and Jesus are a majority. So, Father, today, we are so grateful and honored and humbled, Lord, that you have brought this wonderful men and women of God, your sons and daughters, Lord, led by Steve and the team, Lord, and and the great work that these folks have done, the reaching out in their attempts to, to build a community, to build relationships with the churches. They've come with a humble heart, with servant hearts. And God, I pray that you honor them today. Lord, and we honor them. And Father, as someone that you have brought into this city, Lord, that has laid out our lives in this city, I want to say thank you for all of these that have come from out of town. Lord, you put something into their hearts. Lord, you provided for them miraculously. You called them to go and take the good news to a people that need to hear. Father, I pray that they will not be weary in well-doing. And now, oh God, I pray for a spirit of boldness over each one of them. A spirit of confidence. Lord, that they know they've been sent with a word. God, that they would have ears to hear you. Lord, hearts to receive from you. Ears that are listening to the needs and not a willingness to meet that need. Because you've given us everything that we need to be the answer to somebody else's prayer. To their need, oh God. So we come in the name of Jesus as the New York City Church, as the church of this city, everyone, oh God, that you've brought to this place today. Lord, we know that you're going to do a great work. And Father, you don't deliver by many or by few. But God, you deliver by those that you've called. And Lord, we know that these are the called. You have set us aside for this time. And we expect great things to happen in this city. I declare peace over every one of these hearts and minds. And I declare victory today in this city. And moving forward throughout this week, we will hear great things that your spirit has done in the name of Jesus. Amen.